Uh, could you walk me through that, Ron? Tell me what it's like. I mean, from a from a dead stop to 740. What's that like in your words? It's. It's very different to here. I mean, the guys are very working out very hard to get hooked up off the line here and accelerating very hard. We actually start up to about 200 miles an hour. It's, uh, it's very slow as so the engines are winding up and uh, we're getting the airflow. Once we've actually got the power uh, hooked up and the engines actually light up at about 200, 220, we're then putting on 25 miles an hour every second. So the 200 to 600 time is around 16, 18 seconds. Uh, with the car then going up to 700, that sort of speed. And then the shockwaves start to form, the car starts to get really skittish, and I'm working the steering very hard to actually keep the car straight. And we then finish up uh, entering the, uh, the measured mile on the last run at just a little over 750, around about 760, coming out at about 770. Um, the car's still accelerating, and doing that measured mile on about 4.69, uh, and the kilometre in about 2.9. And then, having used about six miles run up, we've got one mile, End of the mile, throttle back, and I'm thrown forward in the straps. Not that much G, but still losing about 25 miles an hour per second. Um, down to about 400, pop the chute, and uh, put the brakes on about 200, shut the engines down at 150, and we, uh, we roll to a stop just about the 13 mile point, having done the whole 13 miles up to 770 and back to stationary in a little under three minutes. Alrighty, and what do you have for a crew and support and technical support for this? It's, it's quite a team you have put together, quite a crew. Tell me a little bit about the crew. Uh, we had a, a really fantastic bunch of guys. I mean, there was, there was really a, it was a great team effort. It was very much that I was working for them as their test and development driver while they produced this really amazing car and sorted out the aerodynamics and the suspension and the steering and the engines. I mean, this is a 54-foot long, 10-ton car, and it's just so complex. It's got you know, 108 sensors, two computers. So a really, really clever bunch of guys. Total of about 28 people. About a third of them sort of real technical, about half, half of them perhaps technical specialists, um, and the rest of them are just the, the, uh, the, the rest of the crew just to hunt and dump and make stuff happen. But also with a lot of technical expertise to work on the car, service the car, um, and also to then get out, put all the tools down, and then get out and look after a huge team of volunteers to secure the whole of the Black Rock Plier. There are 140 square miles of uh, track that needed uh, marking, that needed clearing, and then a team of guys to actually secure that 140 square miles um, with uh, the uh, air spotters to check the wind, to check that nobody was on the track, and all the guys around the edges to stop everybody coming on. Just a huge team effort, and it was, it was just fabulous to work for a bunch of people like that. Okay, and who actually owns the car? Well, Richard, put the crew together? Richard, Richard Noble put the whole crew together. Now, of course, he set a world land speed record in 1983 of 633 miles an hour. Um, and he was the first guy to actually go at, at uh, Black Rock. And he found that the metal wheels that we're having to run at these speeds just don't like the salt at all. And, and what really made the decision for him, of course, is as everybody's seen, you know, pretty much everybody that comes here has had it happen once. You know, he got rained off, he had to find somewhere else. And the Black Rock turned out to be the perfect surface. So in 83, he got the record. And when he put his new team together, he recognized it was going to be such a big project, such a big car, he was actually going to get a driver to drive it while he was pulling the whole project together. And I was lucky enough to be that man. Okay, now it has uh, two jet engines. Now, you're a uh, you're, uh, jet pilot for the um, English and military? That's right. Air Force? I'm, I'm, I'm in the Royal Air Force. Royal Air Force, um, there you go. That was, that was part of the way I actually got into the team, or certainly got into a, uh, the short list to drive the car, uh, was the, the background of uh, driving jet fighters. And, of course, that helps greatly, because what we actually created was very much sort of jet fighter technology built into a car chassis. And to understand all of that technology and be able to work with the guys to develop it was great. Well, it's been really loud. Uh, thank you, sir. Congratulations. You uh, really are the uh, hero of my speed races all around the world. Thanks again for your time. Thank you. It's been great to be here. Thank you.